uh, in particular in our remote companies that you you've talked about, how can they be intentional to uh, socially, uh, emotionally support, uh, not in a patronizing way or anything, but just be a good team member to someone that they spot that maybe is is struggling? Because I think those team members are probably going to be the first ones to notice and they're not going to have access to survey data or anything but right. because they're working day in, day out. What can they do to sort of lead sideways, right? Because yep. leadership's not a title. I mean, that's the lowest right. form of leadership. What can they do? Right. So a couple of um, thoughts here. One, if you create a culture where coworkers and team members know, like if you had, like if you observe something going on with a team member and you feel like you don't have the power to do anything, tell someone who you think does have the power to do something. So right. an example would be, oh, team member just lost their dog. It is hitting them really, really hard. Can we send them some flowers? I personally don't have a say on whether or not a f- there's a flower budget for this person. <laughs> so right. let me reach out to this person who I think can make that call and make it happen. So those are just mm-hmm. little things. Um, I personally recommend like buy thank you cards. And uh, if you can just ask people for their addresses at like a non-discreet time, um, <laughs> then you have your their addresses on hand. They have to be willing to give it to you, of course. Yeah. But if they do, sure. you can just send them random thank you cards. Like that's that's a huge little thing that you can do. Mm-hmm. And I think kind of at the root of both of those very tactical day-to-day things is being willing to look outside yourself and see the other people on the team. Stop worrying mm-hmm. about yourself and observe other people, see other people, acknowledge their existence, <laughs> their struggles, yeah. their work. And that makes the biggest difference, especially in agency cultures where everyone's just moving mm-hmm. so fast and it's just like boom, boom, boom all the time. And maybe most of the interactions you have with people are request-based and action-based. If you feel mm-hmm. like you're just a vending machine of actions, you are going to have a horrible self-worth and you're going to feel very unseen. 